Hello, I'm Fear. I'm a Kundalini yoga teacher. I give sound baths and workshops. And now I want to share with you my experience with the green diet that you will probably do as well. I'm really happy that you will join. And in this video, I will tell you more about it and also tell you what you can expect about this challenge. So for me, it was, uh, it made me more conscious about my body. It gave me more uh, connection with my body. I learned what is good for me and what is not good for me. I gained more self-love from working with food and choosing the right things for my body. And it made me more aware in general. And of course, we do it also to cleanse the body. So uh, you can cleanse your blood with it. It can help to, um, to release heavy metals. And the green food has a lot of oxygen in it, a lot of life force, energy. And when you eat it, you will feel this as well. You can feel more energy. You can feel also a little bit more light. Uh, like becoming the trees, becoming the woods where you walk in, a little bit this feeling. Um, and of course, everyone has another experience, so it can be completely different for you, and you're really welcome to make your own, of course, and to share it in the group. We will do 11 days of challenge, and in these days there will be five uh, Zoom meetings, and you will be guided by the emails and you can ask questions in the group to each other or to me. And when we start, there will be two days of preparation, seven days of eating green food and two days of integration. So going back to your normal um, eat pattern. If your diet is already really different than the seven days of green, we highly recommend to do the preparation a little bit longer than two days, for example, one week. So your body can slowly adjust to eat very different. This way you will have less bad reactions also, it was more gradual. And you can, for example, stop on the first day, stop eating sugar, on the second day, stop with coffee, on the third day, stopping with the meat or um, animal products and so on. And finally, in these first two days of the challenge, we ask you to not eat uh, e-numbers, to not eat white flour, refined sugars, and um, meat, fish and eggs, and alcohol and coffee. So you eat really pure and you eat what I think most of us know that is already healthy for us. You can eat all the vegetables, uh, grains like rice and quinoa, millet. Um, you can eat uh, things with proteins like legumes, um, tofu, tempeh, things like this. And you can find a list on the website as well. And then uh, we start with the uh, seven days of green and this is the heart of the challenge. And here we eat almost only green things, all the green vegetables, all the green fruits and um, also things that feel a little bit more like mung beans that are green small beans, really healthy, and lentils. And you can um, add many herbs and spices to make it nice. You can also use onion, garlic and uh, ginger and that gives a little bit the Indian taste. Uh, you're also allowed to use salt, a little bit of tamari if you want to. So there are some more things to give a taste to your food that are not green and that you can eat. And so you have a lot of choice and there are many recipes on the website for inspiration and you can also make your own. And of course during these uh, seven days you don't eat the things that you were not eating in the preparation. So you're still eating very pure. And there are some exceptions if you need, uh, if you have work where you need to, to work uh, really physical if you feel you need something more, you can help your body by giving more proteins. You can use 
the uh, vegan powders if you need to and then use um, pure ones and if you can organic and if it's still not enough you can eat two times grains in this week so for example you can eat one time rice and another time another grain that can help to give a little bit more body but know that it's also part of it your body is shifting so uh, first try to to go through it and if you still need it's not enough energy that you have then you may help yourself by adding some things and can also help to add some tahini in your sauce uh, things like this that give more energy to you after the seven green days there is a um, you, you start to eat more colors. There are two days of integration, then you build a bridge to the other, uh, to your normal diet. And in the first day, after the seven green days, you eat different colors. So you can eat red apples again, yay! <laughs> or pumpkin, things like this. But you still eat really pure. It's really important to to do it gradually, to let your body adjust again to the change. And in the second day, you can add grains. Be aware to not um, eat too much wheat, or I would say don't eat bread because it can get stuck in your um, intestines. It's, it's quite heavy to digest after these seven days. So you can eat, add a little bit of rice, for example, or quinoa, and in, after these two days you slowly start to eat more things and again try to not eat everything in one time um, you you have missed it of course and people are already thinking oh and then i can eat this again but try to do it step by step this way you can feel what how your body reacts to every um, thing that you are eating and how you digest it. Of course, it will be a challenge sometimes. You can feel things in your body, like headache, your digestion is changing. Some people um, will have diarrhea or constipation. This can all happen. Sometimes nausea or that you feel changes that there are things coming out of your body. And we have tips on the website how you can um, help this process. It really helps to drink a lot of water and herbal tea, so you can, you're can you helping your body to release the things that are coming out. And um, you may also notice that your energy changes. I often feel that um, I feel more uh, bright and more light energy but my physical energy to do really strong things is a little less so you may notice this as well and sometimes you can have um, muscle pain or lower back pain because your kidneys are working hard and then they also will need a lot of water and stretching so it's really good to do yoga uh, and you can also do meditation to uh, stabilize your mind because the mind can go on many in many places when things change and it can help to create more focus and stability inside you and clarity and uh, in this challenge we offer some different meditations and yoga sets that you can choose to do and we really recommend to do this uh, this diet is good for almost everyone, but if you uh, have an illness, uh, please ask your doctor if it's a good idea. And it's also not good for pregnant women. And you, you have to be a little bit aware if you have a lot of fatta energy. Fatta is when you are um, often really cold, when you have cold hands or when you're a lot in your mind. Uh, sometimes it can be already out of balance and uh, this diet is cooling and it's in, it increases the fatta energy 
and when you know you are a type that is that thinks a lot and when it's difficult for you to ground it's important to make sure that you have enough warmth and uh, that you eat more cooked food and that you do things to ground yourself and this may be enough during the seven days but then you will need a little bit extra care for this and um, all these difficult things of course are uh, also uh, good for a reason because when you come out of the diet often you are a lot more wise and um, you have learned different things about yourself and about your energy levels what gives you energy what what doesn't give you energy um, and you often feel more uh, clear in your mind uh, maybe you will make new choices you will set different directions maybe some things will stay in your diet many people want to keep eating a lot of green after the seven days and you can do it longer you can also choose to do a longer challenge but this you will find also in the things that we write and um, yeah I think that many of us also felt more connection to their body there are some things that may help you in the challenge to think about it's good to plan ahead if you have a busy day that you have some food made already that you have done uh, have, have bought your green things you can of course put some things in the freezer if you know that you will not have time to cook these things all help to not grab other things to eat and it may happen that you have less energy especially in the four three four first days so think about what things give you energy if it's not food that you can use for it um, maybe you want to go in nature or meet people that you like or have more alone time whatever works for you and maybe you can explore it or uh, find new things and you can also sometimes you can be more emotional um, have more thoughts than usual because you don't have the food to cover it and try to not believe too much in your thoughts to know that it's part of the process and to just let it come and go and to keep breathing keep meditating and uh, keep knowing where you're doing this for and it will pass as well and this is also part of the cleanse the emotional cleanse and some physical things uh, to be aware of it's good to not mix fruit with um, other food this will help you in the digestion so it's the best to keep fruit apart from your meals um, the best is to keep it two hours from your meals and uh, some people feel really bloated because um, you eat a lot of um, legumes lentils and things like this be careful with um, onion and garlic and don't eat too much of um, legumes so this can help you to feel lighter so these were the were the practical things and there's much more to say but you can ask your questions in the zoom meeting and maybe you will learn from each other in the group as well so for now i'm really looking forward to do this together and we see each other in the in the zoom meetings or in email so see you soon mm -hmm.